How's it going, my friends? This is Ionicus, and today we're doing a review for Transformers Energon Omnicon RC. Now, I believe this is, uh, this version of RC was the first official retail RC, because uh, there was not one in the original series, which was a shame. Uh, only one after before this was a Botcon Experience. Exclusive. I believe it was a, a repaint and a very slight remold of Transmetal 2 Black Rechnia into RC. So, we go ahead and take a closer look at Energon RC. And welcome to Ionicus Toy Reviews. So, here we have RC up close and personal. As you can see, we got the Autobot symbol there. Different shades of pink. We got a little bit of burgundy. We got black. A lot of white. High heels on the bottom. Kind of a double jointed knee in the leg for posability and the transformation. No waist articulation. Leg can go up that far, can go back that far. Ball joint in the upper and the side does not allow for a super kick. Little spindly little arms here on the ball joint. There's a ball joint there in the upper shoulder. Hinge here in the elbow. The head's on a peg joint, I think. And so I can do a 360. Can't go back and forth, no uh, attitude tilt. And the wing, the wheel wings on the shoulders are on a bolt right there. So she's got some pretty limited articulation, but not bad. Uh, obviously your hands can't hold anything, but that will get to the accessories. And look at all this backpack that she's got here. It's just got awful. But what can you do? Because of all this for accessories, move her back a little bit. Cannons. We have this translucent plastic, and then you can just connect like that. And these side pieces right here go right there. And right there, and here you have her Energon weapon, which is a crossbow. Which I believe any Energon care, uh, Autobot can use her weapon. You see the missile plugged into there. Made of that green plastic. And you got her Energon Star which is made of the same plastic. This can plug into the symbol right there. Plugs in just like that, and the spot there, there on each arm. I'll just be able to hold the crossbow like that. It's 
a little weird for her to pose with it. The spring-loaded missile launcher does work very nicely. And it hits pretty hard. Uh, I'll try to grab an ener one of the few random Energon Autobots I have and try to pose them holding her assess her uh, crossbow on the Instagram channel, Ionicus Toy Reviews. But, uh, gonna unhook this and be careful not to sh set that off again. Uh, for her vehicle mode, I'm gonna take her little forearms here and flip them around like that. I'm gonna straighten these out. Bring these up, shoulders up, like that. Bring legs up and around while we're bringing the wheel and the front of the motorcycle mode back. Bring our head down there. Then straightening these out here. See, there's a peg there and a hole there. They just kind of snap together like that. I'm just gonna line up the wheel together and I'll snap right together like that. You bring these legs around 360, not 360, but down like that. Close up the feet. Bring these up and back. I think they're supposed to go just like, right like that. Head on this side. Find that out. And there you go. Oops. Her motorcycle mode. Her regular motorcycle mode. Do 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 do. And I believe you were able to have Kicker ride her. So Kicker was like the human figure of the series. I disconnect that. I take her weapon here. Disconnect that. Pop that off. You can see there's a hole right there that just kind of slots in right like that. Take this one and do the same thing. Right like that. And this one plugs into this, this right here. And this one plugs in right there. And of course the missile launcher goes right back. The missile goes right back into the missile launcher. And there's her power up mode. <sighs> Doesn't look really that bad. I like it's not fine. Still can do the do 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 do. -do. There's where she is. There's Energon RC. I go ahead and put her back into her robot mode, and I'll put this round, and I'll be right back.
you. So this was Energon RC. I should give her a solid 9 out of 10. It's a nice figure. Tom and Tramped into the designs of early to mid 2000s. Uh, you can get her relatively cheap for like, I got her for 10 bucks, I think. Uh, for my friends at uh, Poppin' Comics at Great Lakes Comic Con a couple of months, about a month or so ago. Yeah, it's the end of February. This is, yeah, about a, m a little over a month ago. Uh, great guys. Look them up on uh, Facebook, Poppin' Comics. I don't know if they're on YouTube or not. I'm sure if they're on YouTube, I'll put this on here. Uh, but I mean, if you find her or any of her repaints, which I think there's like three or four different repaints of her, plus a bunch of Botcon repaints too, Flame War, I don't know, there was a Chromio, there was a, I think a Blue RC, an Alita One. There's a few of them, but definitely worth the 10, maybe 15 bucks you can get her for. Uh, good figures. But, I said if you can find them, definitely worth picking them up. Because it's nice to have the smaller scale figures like this. Uh... You like RC, you like Transformers Energon, which is completely underrated. I like the show, but it's a good idea. There's a lot of if or ors. It's fine. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Whack that bell for notifications. And just remember, keep in those toy aisles. I'll see you guys next time. Later.